welcome to the NBS Reviews. I am your host, Norma Sanzo. Joining me today is Silver Quill. Oh yeah, baby. We're going to be talking about pie. Wait, did we already talk about pies before? Well, it's going to be a special kind of pie. Be all the pie. Yeah, all right, then. <laughs> Everybody loves a good pie. <laughs> I'm making this as uncomfortable as possible while trying to imitate Barry White. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. And anywho, also joining us today is Sapphire Heart Song. I'm just going to step away from this review in Don't. like two seconds. Don't leave me. Um, uh, okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> so, anywho, in today's episode, we are going to review Friendship is Magic issue 59. In this issue, Pinkie Pie tries to convince Rainbow Dash of the wonders of Pi. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, gosh. Kill me. <laughs> uh, probably later. But anywho, before we start off the comics, we need to go to first impressions. And Silver, what do you think of set? Episode or comic issue? Well, it's an interesting follow-up to Secrets and Pies. Pretty much a direct follow-up, but I will say it was fun in the middle because Pinkie Pie does everything in extremes. There's no half measures with this pony. However, the ending, I feel, doesn't get her character right. And so it it's fun, but it doesn't always work. So that's all I can say in the moment, but... It's a fun, interesting follow-up with some good humor. And, of course, Pinkie Pie does everything to 20. And, Seppi, what about you? I don't know. I kind of feel the opposite. Yeah, I can understand why ex- why it exists. Did we really need a follow-up to this episode? Or no? I don't know. That's my question. Uh, I'm going to pretend you didn't just ask that. Harumph, me. Mm. Well, well, think about it. It's just a direct follow-up with Pinky relearning the same lesson, it feels like. Not really, because the first one was more on Rainbow Dash's part. Oh, yeah. At least Pinky's finally learning a lesson instead of everybody trying to guilt Rainbow because, oh, you didn't like pie. Yeah. But anywho, uh, as for me, I like this one. This one was fun. It was a fun follow-up because... Sometimes when we watch the show, we never really wonder what happens after that. So with this one, we got the answer. Uh, Pinkie Pie still didn't learn her lesson that Rainbow Dash just doesn't like pies. So the way around it was pretty interesting. And yeah, uh, I say go read it, but that's my opinion. So anyway, uh, before we head into sp- the review um pause here and go take a read welcome back hope you enjoy the comic so anywho we start off with our lead character pinkie pie in the apple family farm granny smith is teaching her the way of the apple family pie and something that oh yeah <laughs> something that granny said spark a or lit a light bulb on Pinky and Pinky go whoosh. I mean, Pinky cannot accept the idea. What? Someone doesn't like things that I do like? Heresy. Yeah. Most unorthodox. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Everybody should play Overwatch. What is this PUBG or Fortnite people are playing? Harumph. Harumph, harumph, harumph. <laughs> Most unorthodox. Heresy. <laughs> Earn the witch. <laughs> Uh, no, Tristan, no. Uh, but anywho, someone. I'm friends with Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <coughs> but anywho, we carry on. Um, sorry, moments later, Pinkie Pie finds Rainbow Dash, and kind of makes a mess at R- 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 uh, Sugar Cube Corner. And I'm surprised that the cake has a tab for Pinky. Where every disaster that happens is put on her tab. Hmm. Alrighty then. Makes sense. Knowing Pinky, that seems very prudent. And the reason why she is there is to tell Rainbow or to help Rainbow find the perfect pie that she would like. And Rainbow says, no thanks, I hate pies. And Pinky just tries and convince her. 
and bring Buddha learning her lesson says, okay, 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 let, let, let's try and go, let's try and, let, let's do this, let's do this, but tomorrow, tomorrow. I do love how Pinky is literally bouncing all around the panels. It's like, what does that, what would that look like to Rainbow in quote unquote real life? She's just bouncing off midair, bouncing off midair. Yeah, yep, true that. Oh gosh, that'll be creepy. Yeah. So, anywho, the next day, Rainbow and Applejack walk through town, and Applejack saying, "Hey, what? Uh, Pinky still didn't learn her lesson." And Rainbow Dash says, "Yeah, but still, like, you could just, you couldn't just say no." And I say, "Yeah, why not? Try a few pies, and then, yeah, maybe she'll learn her lesson." And no, like, Pinky kind of breaks up a storm and. There's a lot of pies. A lot of pies. Oh, yeah. It's a pie parade, baby. Yeah. Oh, my friggin'. <laughs> so, anyway, um, Pinkie Pie starts analyzing Rainbow Dash and her interest in pies. And all of the pies that they have, or all the pies that Pinkie, uh, sorry, all the pies that Rainbow ate, she didn't like them. None of it at all. Oh, by the way, I have to point out something because somebody in the comments mentioned this to me and I didn't notice it. You know what? I'm going to find that person because that person really pointed out something really good. Uh, talk someone yourself for a bit or continue on the review. I love the scene where Applejack is just like, well, looks like you're having fun. <laughs> and Rainbow's are like, don't leave me. I'm very afraid. <laughs> yeah. Well, it looks like Rainbow's on her own because nobody's sharing pie with her. Oh, that ain't right. Mm -hmm. All God's ponies got got a right to have some pie. Oh my God! <laughs> what happens if you um, don't like pies? <clears throat> then you well, ain't. Well, then you end up sick as a dog, like Rainbow over here. <laughs> or maybe you're just tired of life. Okay, I found I found the commenter, um, Luis Garciano. So he mentioned this in our, um, what was the episode called? Pi Lies and Pies, what was it? Secrets and Pies. Yeah, Secrets and Pies. He mentioned this. This episode puts Brotherhood Social in perspective. Rainbow should have been disqualified because she threw away the pies that was part of the challenge for the final race. <laughs> Rainbow is in the conflict of, do of love of victory and dislike of pies. <laughs> I'm sure she could stomach it just for the sake of sweet, sweet victory. No, no, no. Before, yes. before this, nobody really knew what... You know, nobody really seen Rainbow eat pies. Not even in that episode. Oh, yeah. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Dang I'm... it, Silver, what do you make? I'm trying to give Norman a conniption. No, man, you want to give me a conniption, it was Kung Pao. Well, it didn't work. You're giving me a conniption. <laughs> yeah. Wee, wee, wee. <laughs> okay, where were we? Where were we? Yeah, pies. Mm. Yeah. So. Mm, yeah. Uh, we were dealing with some upper crust humor. <laughs> oh, that's a thinly veiled joke. <laughs> Oh, uh, yes. I, I'm sorry you're turning all flaky on me. <laughs> uh, wow, well, I, I don't know. Good pie jokes. Well, anyway, moving on. So Rainbow Dash runs away for her life because pies. She don't like them. And she wakes up in bed smelling pie. Like, wait, what? Why do I smell pie? And Pinky's in her kitchen baking pies. Like, oh no, what the hell? I'm in your house. Personal space? What's that? I know. Dream it's Pinkie Pie. <laughs> there is no such thing as personal space. Uh, boys. But anywho, um, Rainbow, Rainbow flies off to complain to Twilight, and Twilight gives Rainbow a helping hoof in this scenario. I gotta say, she says Pinkie Pie ne uh, needs a friendship lesson. Maybe you should give her a dose of her own medicine. Isn't that engineering a friendship lesson which Twilight learned you shouldn't 
do. Yeah, but this the scenario here is Rainbow Dash. I'm reading a book. Can't you see that I'm busy? Why don't you settle this yourself? You're a grown man. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> uh, yeah. So it looks like Rainbow Dash no know, just knows what to do, and the thing that Rainbow Dash wants to do is just relax, sit on a beach chair, and get some rays. And also read some Daring Do books. And also, um, Rainbow just tells Pinky, yo, want to look at me be awesome? I'm gonna fly and do my Wonderbolt drills. Look at me be awesome. And with that, Pinkie Pie just cracks, saying that, yo, Rainbow, I don't like the things that you do. It's boring. Not everybody likes the same thing, like stuff. Yeah. But here's the thing. This is what gets me. Y'all remember too many Pinkie Pies, yeah? Mm-hmm. What was Pinkie perfectly happy to do? Anything that everybody wants to do? She was perfectly happy to just hang out with Rainbow and spend time together, even if it meant her just napping by the by the pond, or she could push Rainbow while napping around the pond on a floaty. Basically, Pinkie d- doesn't really care about what's being done as long as she gets to be a part of it. So this this breakdown of hers feels very engineered. I don't think this is how Pinky would react within the show proper. And so this this plan of rainbows should backfire, but it does not. Probably, but I would like to say that maybe the scenario here is uh, Rainbow Dash's plan here is to, hey, Pinky, experience what I do for fun. Like, follow me, follow me. But that's what Pinky does all the time. I mean, she was perfectly happy to just watch Rainbow practice in Read It and Weep. Mm, true that. So, I say the nay. Yeah, probably this ending here was a bit force. Probably. May yeah. The fo- may the force be with you. Mm. Uh, uh, but in all honesty, I, I don't mind the ending here. If you forget that little detail, it doesn't really spoil it for you. Oh, if I forget the detail, right? If you just forget this show that we talk about even exists, it's all good. I'm sorry. There's no convincing me on this. Uh, no comment on that one. But anywho, um, next page. Um, with all the pies that were big, uh, they have a pie giveaway just because they have so many pies. And everybody enjoys getting the pies. And oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah. The, all Ponyville celebrating the pies. Yep. And Pinkie Pie says to Rainbow as a just a thank you, I'll give you something special. And that's chocolate cake. Yay. And Rainbow Dash loves chocolate cake. I have no commentary on that. I can't make an innuendo. Oh, no. The cake is a lie? Unless, depends on how she likes the frosting. And if that episode ends. So. Well, that was swift. Well, that's, that's, the, that's the thing. Like, this comic is that. It's just that. I, th- this is beyond straightforward. This is almost point A to point Z. And you're like, wait, how did I get here? I know. It's, hmm, I, I don't even know how to describe it. This, we had the same length of pages, but to me, uh, th- that's it. That, that's it. Like, there's, I, I don't know what to say, man. Like, that is it. <laughs> Safi, chime in on me. Safi? Chime. Chime in on this. Chime. We want, we want to hear your thoughts because this was very, very swift. I know, and I don't know, I, and I wasn't even forcing it. Yeah, the audience needs to get their money's worth. It took me five minutes to read this comic. That's all I can say. Like I was under a feeling like I had to rush through this comic because you know oversleeping and whatnot. Yeah, no, it didn't take that long to get through it. Did- that, and I felt like I was rewatching Secret and Pies. <laughs> Which I didn't really like as an episode that much anyways. So it's like, okay, well, this happened. Mm-hmm. Like, you know that feeling that I'm trying to describe or no? Yeah, I, I can understand that. Like, me rereading this one felt swift and fast. Even though we had 30 pages, same as the last one, it kind of ran fast. Like, um, I got no idea how to say it. It's just that. Silver, what do you think? Well, it, it, it serves as a good follow-up in my eyes. Oh, I, this sounds like I'm going into uh, final thoughts already. Like, I, I won't go to final thoughts because I 
think I have a topic to add on to this because you know what? I'm just going to get into it. How do you guys feel about the comics taking or the comics having continuation from the series? Like that's never been done before until now. Or or I tried branching out. I've always liked it when the comics ventured into unexplored territory. Big Mac and Zen in the Arctic Gazebo Repair gave us a insight into his character far beyond or far in advance of, say, Hard to Say Anything or uh, Brotherhood Social. And while the comics didn't always succeed, uh, like The Good, The Bad, and The Ponies, a lot of times they did give us these great insights or these great side stories. I liked Reflections or The Return of King Sombra. And I think I'm a little sad that that goes away. In fact, some of that has been rendered non-canon at this point. Oh, yeah, true that, true that. And that's the sad part there. Even with the recent comics, um, I forgot, what was it, issue 61, was it? Where Celestia had her day to herself? Ah, uh, yes. I, I don't know. I, I kind of like this format of the comic expanding the story of the main line a bit, saying, oh, um, this is what happened next. So... Tie-ins! Yay! Much fun! Go by! But I'm not 100% sure if it works. Like, you mentioned before, the comics are its own thing and should stay their own thing because if the show is trying to pull them in, it's not going to have a great time. You're going to have a bad time. You need to pizza instead of french fry. <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, I remember that episode. Do you? Nope. What episode was this? This was a South Park episode where they learned skiing. Oh. And how you orient the skis might be like a wedge of a slice of pizza uh-huh. or parallel like a french fry. Ah, okay. That makes sense. And if you don't, if you pizza when you should have french fried, you're going to have a bad time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. All right, then. So, anyway. Um... So, let's see. Your pizzas, french fries, and pies and cake were... We just need to have some appetizers. Oh, uh, salad? I'm going to pretend you didn't just recommend that. <laughs> uh, salad. What What kind of new age health chunky are you, boy? <laughs> oh my God. Anyway, let's head into final thoughts. Silver, what do you think? I think salad is a terrible appetizer. It doesn't even have a flavor. You, you have to load it with dressing and cheese and croutons and whatever just to have any semblance of an experience, which defeats the purpose of having a salad. <laughs> what were we talking about again? Oh, right. Pies. Well, like I say, it's a fun follow-up as Pinky understands the greater ramifications. It's not just Rainbow doesn't like her baking. It's that Rainbow doesn't like pies in general. <gasps> oh, no. And so this is a fun pinky dials it to the extreme, but that's all it is because when Rainbow turns the tables, it doesn't feel genuine or, or believable. I mean, this is Pinkie Pie we're talking about, and that just falls to pieces in my eyes. And then you're like, well, hang on, all of this, and I don't feel like I know these characters any better. They behave exactly as I'd expect, but I don't get any further insight. And that just leaves it... Not a bitter experience, but just sort of, oh, that happened. Okay, what's next? Moving on. Mm. Moving on. All right, all right. Seppi, what about you? He basically took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> oh, all right, dude, then. So, as for me, this comic was an okay one. I still enjoy it. I, I Like I mentioned before, a lot of times, I do like um, the follow-up from the episodes then yeah, like what men, but like what Silver mentioned before, uh, some of the characteristics over here seems to paint Pinky in a different kind of light that is not Pinky. If you remember previous episodes, it's kind of clash or kind of uh, contradicts one another. So you would say it's out of character, but I'm just gonna say because. This is comic writer, so yeah, different world, different scenario and whatnot. But with that, Silver, what are you going to do next week? Well, we continue with the episode follow-up comics as the Cutie Mark Crusaders help ponies get their cutie marks. But what happens when one pony is afraid to embrace her destiny? And so that will be our next review. And is also the last of the tie-ins for right now 
uh, to the show proper, for we are nearing the end of Season 7 in full, in totality. Yep, yep. I think after that one, we'll do the uh, overall thoughts of Season 7, because we didn't really do that one, right? Well, we haven't really talked about Season 7 overall, hmm. which will be a good, a grand retrospective. Retrospective. Yeah, yeah. Rolling my R's. Rolling to... start. Oh, there you go. Well done. Thank you. So, anywho, yeah, that'll be next week's thing. Uh, we'll do My Little Pony Friendship is Magic issue 60. So, yeah, be around to check it out for that one. And also be around for the next, next one for our overall thoughts of season seven. It'll be fun. And then be around for the next, 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 next one. And the next one after that. Yeah, we'll, we'll, I think it's about time we hop into season eight, right? Yeah, we're getting close. Yep, yep. I don't know. I, I feel like we should do some ladybug. <laughs> ah, you sick. <laughs> you sick. Please, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. What? <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com. With your support, you'll get a week's early access to the review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content, and a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank LurkerCat, Starstream, Myself Lag, Amy, Mark, Charles, Lucky Knight, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys, for the awesome support. And what about you, Sappy? Do you have anyone or do you have anything to shout out or promote? Follow me on Twitch. Also, give me coffee. That's all. All righty then. How is the Twitch thing going for you? Any good? Yeah, it's actually going pretty good. Uh, I stream on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Art stream or video game stream? Art stream. Ah, all right, you then. So, Silver, what about you? Well, you can always find me on YouTube, on DeviantArt, where every Friday I post a Pinkie Pie Says Goodnight. Thank goodness Treehouse did not go ahead with their dual release weekends. That was... Very, very demanding last season. And I and I have written reviews on Equestria Daily every Wednesday. Written comic reviews or written... Written comic reviews. Ah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So. Yeah. You're a traitor. Why? What do you mean traitor? I'm kidding. Silver has been doing that before he joined us. Or was it around the same time? Around the same time. Maybe a little bit after. Mm. Doesn't really matter. Silver is a, oh, a pe- oh, I see. You're saying my reviews don't matter. Oh. No, I mean... <laughs> oh, but I expected this of 4chan, but not from you. <laughs> what I meant to say was... Uh, you're an independent hippogriff that's allowed to go anywhere he likes. That's right. In fact, I'll be going to Everfree Northwest, May 18th through the 20th. Ooh. Actually, I believe this podcast might air just before, or maybe the weekend of. In which case, if you're in Seattle, come by and say hello. Yes, do go because I can't. <laughs> Make me jelly because you can. <laughs> uh, boys. So, Make Norman salty. I'm already salty. I just need some fries. <laughs> and then some pie. Uh, yeah. But remember, don't pizza when you need a french fry <laughs> or else you're going to have a bad time. <laughs> oh, but anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. I am the Silver Quill. And I have been a Safi. And we'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the MBS show. See ya. Now let's all go have some ah. Uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. No thanks. So do you guys count McDonald's apple pie as real apple pie? I don't count McDonald's as actual food. <laughs> <laughs>